Hey everybody, this is Dave with West Texas Bugs. So today I'm going to tie um, this fly here is called a roadkill and it was invented by a guy named John Faust who passed away on April 6th this year in Hamilton, Montana. April 6th is my birthday and it's also Montana Day. And um, John Faust was uh, a pretty incredible guy. He was a, a fly tire and a guide an inventor. He invented uh, some of the first foam cutters. He also invented the uh, mechanical fish that was in River Runs Through It that took Brad Pitt's fly. But I couldn't find much about this fly, so I uh, searched the internet. Uh, I'm going to tie it on a um, MLO 54 size 8 moon lead hook, and I'm using uh, uh, Simplifly's wax black and 8 dot. So um, I, I I got a call from a friend of mine in, in Hamilton, Montana, who wanted me to tie a bunch of these for, for her, and um, so I started doing a little homework, and she had a, a very well-eaten roadkill that she sent me a picture of, and I found a couple of photos on the internet. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do my best. I believe that um, he used um, uh, furry foam. On the bottom and um, I don't have any of that but uh, I'm gonna try to get by without it so I've stacked my hair this is elk hair and um, I've got a pretty healthy clump here probably more than you think you're gonna need and I'm gonna make sure all the short pieces are out because they won't fold back well for a bullet head and I'm gonna measure my clump to be a full shank length long I want to bring my thread right up behind my eye and go ahead and do my first wrap right behind the eye and then go ahead and flare it out. Okay, and then once I have it tight, I'm going to go ahead and um, come back through these cl this clump a little bit and I never let go, of, whoop, I did let go of the clump. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut off all these butt ends. Try not to let go of the clump. Get it cleaned up as well as you can. So I didn't let my hair spin the way I do with a lot of my bullet head flies. Um, because from what I can tell from the photographs, this is not like a full bullet head. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cap. And I want to make sure that I'm as far forward as I want to be so I can kind of finagle that a little bit. There we go. All right. Now let's carry on. So I'm going to bring my thread all the way to the back. And this fly is also a good opportunity to showcase some new materials I just received from Semperfly. So uh, thank you, uh, Andy and Ann. And it's a nice thing to get a nice package in the mail during a pandemic so anyway so the first thing is the uh, sparkle dubbing and uh, in some great colors and um, so I'm going to use uh, some purple and there's a couple of different colors in here there's a darker purple and a lighter purple I'm going to use just a little bit of both don't ask me why and um, so some of the flies, some of the, the picture, the main picture of this fly that I found, it has a, a brown and tan uh, foam body, um, but the picture that my friend sent me was uh, black and purple, so she seemed to like those, so that's what I'm going to tie up for. So I've got my, my two colors of dubbing kind of mixed up here, and I'm going to go ahead and start dubbing it on. And this is just going to be the underbody, but I want it to I want it to show nice and prominently. So I'm going to do kind of a thick loop or uh, dubbing noodle, and I don't need to get it on there super tight, but I want it to I want it to cover quite a bit of my thread here. Okay, so once you're on. Go ahead and just start wrapping right here from the back, right at the bend. Bring your thread 
to loop for your noodle forward. And try not to cut down any hair. Come right behind your, your wing. Then I'm going to bring my thread back about a third. Okay, so the next material is also from Semperfly. They um, have this new three and a half uh, millimeter foam, and they also have uh, four and a half and two and a half. What I've done is I've taken purple and black and I've glued them together to create kind of a sandwich. And then I'm going to cut a piece off. It's about a hook gape wide, maybe a little bit wider. There we go. And <clears throat> I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a point here to tie in with. So this is the, and I want the black on top. So I'm going to put this right here. Tie it in very securely. Then take your scissors and I'm going to come right to the back of my hook and then just come out just a touch. Go ahead and cut that off and then take your corners off. A little more of an angle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add just a little bit more dubbing because I want to cover up those thread wraps underneath. So I'll take just a little bit more. So after tying in my foam, I know I have thread wraps showing on the bottom. So I want to cover all of that up. Go ahead and fold my wing back. And I want my wing to be about the same length as my body, so that came out pretty well. And um, they make a tool to do bullet heads, but I like just using my hands. So I want to get all this pushed back nice and tight. I'm going to get two kind of loose wraps and just take a look. Make sure you're, you're happy with everything. out my thread, cinch it down. Okay, there we go. And now uh, I need to put some legs on here. And so also from Semperfly, I got these uh, striped rubber legs in a lot of different colors. And there's a nice uh, black and white the zebra legs. And so I'm just going to take one strand, and then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half, cut it, and just take one half, and then I'm going to place the first leg on my side right to the bend of the hook. It's going to be a back leg, and I'm just going to hold it flat on the side of the fly, a couple of wraps, and I'm going to take the long front piece, I'm going to carry it around, and do the same length for the back leg on that side, and then I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it and make sure it stays in position. Okay, and then come in with my scissors. And there we go. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of tighter wraps. And then to make sure everything stays nice and secure, I'm going to take some uh, super glue and coat it on my thread. pretty solid and then you could uh, 
come up to the eye and whip finish or you can just whip finish right here if you'd like. Um, it's really up to you. And if you got a big whip finisher you can use that or try to do it like by hand. Okay. And that is my best attempt at a roadkill. So I hear they fish well. I hope to find out. So thanks for watching, and um, we'll have more videos coming soon.